So once the uh, tire is peeled away from the rim, you'll notice there's this old glue um, still adhered to the rim. And uh, if we were to put another layer of glue over this, uh, the bond's not going to be as good as if it was uh, if the new tire was mounted to a clean, freshly glued rim. So uh, our task is to get this rim looking uh, as good as it did when uh, when it was new. Um, since the glue is so chunky, uh, the first thing we're going to go at it with is uh, is a, one of the metal scrapers, and uh, I'd probably pick this one for its rounded edges. You can get it down into the the bed of the rim. Not a quick nor fun process. So once you get the most of the rim looking like this, it's likely time to, uh, to hit it with the uh, furniture stripper or adhesive remover. The gist of it is to get a decent amount of the adhesive remover on a clean rag. Uh, and then you just you go at the, the rim. As a side note, you're not going to want to use heavy-duty strippers or adhesive remover on carbon rims because carbon rims are held together with a resin, which is a glue, and you don't want to affect the integrity of the carbon rim by using one of these high-strength adhesive removers. What you'll want to do is scrape the rim, um, sand it, or use a Scotch-Brite pad, uh, and then use a little bit of acetone on a rag to get the last bit of residue off before you reapply your glue. So that's what we're going to want the whole rim to look like when we're finished. This patch right here. The reason you need to stretch a tubular tire is because uh, they come tight. They have uh, cotton base tapes, uh, as you can see on uh, this Challenge Perry roubaix um, The cotton is untreated, uh, and this would be a good candidate for uh, the technique I'm about to use. Uh, Vittoria actually treats the base tapes on its tire. It has a uh, like a latex coating over it and this would not be a good candidate for the technique I'm about to use. You get your new tire. Uh, this has an untreated cotton base tape. Uh, and then you get a bucket of water. Close your valve. You don't want water going into your tire. You just roll it back up as it was in the box and we're going to soak it in this water here to get the base tape all wet. Basically what you're doing is uh, helping the cotton base tape hold the stretch. Uh, we're going to mount it uh, onto a cleaned rim and then we're going to wait for it to dry. That's probably going to take 24 hours or so. We can see that this uh, base tape is saturated. Um, so what we do now is we take our clean rim And we just mount the tire on. You're actually going to use this same technique um, of stretching the tire around the rim a little bit as you go when you mount it after everything's glued. It's not the easiest thing to do and you'll, you'll notice if you haven't stretched a tire, um, this is where you get glue everywhere, uh, including all over yourself, in your hair possibly. Um, do you know that from experience? The first time uh, I ever glued a tubular, it was kind of a joke um, between the guy who owned the shop uh, and his buddy to watch me do it. So once this is on here, it's all wet, um, you're going to fill this up to uh, 100, 120 PSI. Uh, if the tire is rated for more, you can put more in uh, and it just helps the tire stretch. So we'll let this sit overnight and uh, it'll be ready to go uh, once the base tape is dry.